Okay, so hello again everyone. My name is Arnaud Loret. I'm an API architect at Natixis, a French banking group. So when you design anything, and especially APIs, you must be aware of a terrible and ancient evil lurking in the dark. From door design to kitchen appliance design to API design, this terrible and ancient evil can totally screw up the best design intentions. How could this be possible? How the best API design could be a total failure? This terrible story started well. After a long struggle, an API designer found his way into the REST API design maze and succeeded to achieve the design of a quite decent API. But APIs are not meant to be frozen for eternity. They are living things that will change and evolve. So, after a few months, this first API had to be updated to add some new features. And I don't really get it, but I sense there is something different in this new API. Did you notice it? Have you ever realized that if there are thousands of public APIs out there, there are millions of private ones? Yes, millions. If any single company in the world, build a mobile application and its backend. That's millions of API. And think about all these companies going crazy about microservices. That's even billions of APIs. So whatever the purpose, more and more APIs are designed every day, every hour, even in a single company or in a single organization. And what can happen when someone designs another API in this organization? This second API is created to cover some totally different use case from the first one. But still, I have an awkward feeling when I look at this new API. There may be some intriguing and subtle difference between this new API and the previous one, but I can't put my finger on it. And the next one gives me the same feeling and the one after that too, and oh, this one is really creepy. But what is the source of this strange and disturbing feeling when you look at all these APIs provided by a single organization? Let's take a closer look to find out. All these APIs may use different URL patterns, they may use different keys in property names, they may use different names for the same thing, they may use different data formats, and these are only a few examples of difference in API design. The possibilities are endless, URL patterns, naming conventions, properties, URL case, data structures, security, uh, errors, parameters, the use of HTTP methods, HTTP status codes, error message, data format, how an API behave, right, everything. So much differences, too much differences. All these API designs are inconsistent. All these APIs can be inconsistent with each other. And even a single API can be inconsistent with itself, using different URL patterns from one endpoint to another, or different case for property names, for example. So, okay, APIs provided by an organization for public or private purpose can have inconsistent design. So what? What is the problem of having inconsistent design? Well, it's quite simple. Simple, but with terrible consequences. Why do you almost always know how to open a door? Because its design is usually consistent with other doors you have encountered before. Thanks to this design consistency, you will know how to open a door instinctively. But what happens when, uh, when you encounter a door which design is totally different from other doors you have encountered before? You are puzzled. You have to discover how to use it. Everything you have learned before may be useless when using this inconsistent door. It's exactly the same with APIs. One does not simply use inconsistent APIs. 
Using inconsistent APIs requires too much effort. Once users have mastered one API endpoint, they expect the next one to behave and look the same way. Once users have mastered an API from a specific organization, they expect the next API to behave and look just like the previous one. Having to relearn everything when passing from an endpoint to another, from an API to another, is annoying, time-consuming, and source of error. It's so annoying and time-consuming that users will hate you for that. Even software hates inconsistency. Writing code using consistent APIs is so easy. Writing code using inconsistent API is a total burden. If users have the choice, they even may not use such inconsistent API at all. They will choose some other ones which will be consistent and far more easy to understand and to use. So yes, inconsistent APIs are terrible. Inconsistency means time lost, customer lost, and money lost. But can this nightmare be the work of a single person? Definitely. A single API designer may perfectly create very well-designed APIs which are totally inconsistent. Inconsistent within themselves, but also with other APIs this designer has created before. All this by simply forgetting, consciously or not, what has been done previously. But things can get even worse when there are more API designers involved. The number of inconsistency problems we can have with a single API designer is multiplied by the number of designers, and new types of problems arise. API designers love to talk. API designers never agree on anything. I'm sure that if I ask 10 API designers what is the best way to handle pagination? I get probably 50 different response, response. And we could debate endlessly to select a so-called best solution. And the funny thing is that once a solution is found, API designer will have the same discussion again and again for the next and the next API. When API designers do not talk to each other, they love to reinvent the, the wheel of an, on their own, and a wheel that uh, has probably just been created by one of their fellow API designers. And of course, this new wheel is totally inconsistent with the previous one. It could be how to handle pagination, batch processing, or whatever API design challenge that needs to be solved one day or another when designing APIs. And all these different solutions may be valid separately, but together they deeply trouble the organization's API surface. The more APIs, the more inconsistency. The more API designers, the more inconsistency. All API designers losing time thinking again and again about the same things. This is terrible. Terrible for users, terrible for designers, terrible for the organization providing these inconsistent APIs. Is there a way to avoid this evil and ancient inconsistency demon? Yes, there is a solution. It's called an API style guide, or API guidelines, or API design guide, or whatever name. It is something that describes the rules that must be followed within an organization to design APIs. These, these rules will be mainly about the API itself. How should an API look like or behave? URL patterns, how to use HTTP methods, HTTP status code, what are the naming conventions, how to handle errors. These style guides can also contain guidelines about how to design APIs, what method or process use, the steps each designer should follow, the tools to use. An important topic which must be described in a style guide is how to update an API, what should be considered as a breaking change, how to create APIs which will lessen the pain of updating them. 
Such style guide can also talk about the whole API lifecycle, when and why to create an API, how to handle updates, how many versions to keep live at, uh, uh, at a time, how, old, uh, how long old versions are kept, how to handle set sets, how to warn users, etc., etc. You put, basically, you put in an API style guide every rule that is needed to ensure consistency in API design, but also API lifecycle or whatever API related subject. These rules are discussed once. After that, API designers won't lose time anymore. Whether they are seasoned or beginners one, they can focus on what's really important. Think about the real problem to solve with APIs without having to think about, oh, which HTTP status code should I use when there's a user error? Which case should I use in my property names? This rule being applied across all organizations' APIs, there won't be any inconsistency anymore. And all users and API designers will be happy forever and ever and ever. Wait a second. Is that really so simple? We just put rules in a book and all our API designs problems are gone? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. First, you have to write the guidelines. What will you put in them? How to define rules? How to describe them? You may simply analyze your existing APIs and also take some famous APIs as example to define your design rules <coughs> like Stripe <coughs> or Twilio. Uh, you may also simply copy past or take inspiration from existing API design guidelines that you can find on apistylebook.com, of course. And don't forget to talk to your fellow API designers because they may give you some useful advice and they will have to use these guidelines too. But remember that these people love to debate endlessly. And so that was not so hard. The API design guidelines has been written, the job is done or you think it is. Writing guidelines is only the beginning. What do you think will happen if you write a book full of rules and put it on a shelf? Nothing. Nobody will read it. And if nobody reads this guide, what will happen? Inconsistency in all your API designs. All this work done for nothing. So you will have to find any possible mean to share and promote this API design style guide. You can create a website on your internal developer portal, create funny stickers, posters, do training sessions, in short, sell your style guide. Make people aware of it, make people understand it, make people love it, just like any product. Now that everyone is aware of your wonderful API design style guide, you will discover that it needs to evolve. An API style guide may not be completely exhaustive at first try, and this is completely normal. You'll need to update it because some designers may find some new use case that was not covered by the existing style guides. The new rules must be included into a style guide for future APIs so people will not reinvent the wheel. Uh, the way rules are described may, may not be really efficient like any tutorial or documentation. You have to find a good way to make people understand what you want. Uh, a rule may be prove to be inefficient and need to be changed. So an API style guide must be a living thing that anyone can contribute to, to update it, to add new features, to improve it, to make it more understandable. And once it is updated, you will have, of course, to share and promote this new version. Okay, we have written rules with our fellow API designers based on existing API or guidelines. We share them, we promote them, and we are able to update and improve them. What do we miss? There is one thing, a terribly important thing. Rules can be broken. Some people may not follow the rules consciously or not. 
Therefore, you will have to enforce the use of gun lines and control that they are actually applied. This control can be done by people using peer review, for example, but some organizations try to automate the control on API design. Machines are not yet fully capable to evaluate the accuracy of an API design, but they are totally capable of checking some API design uh, basic rules as long as they have something that they can work with. And such thing exists. The Open API Initiative promotes a machine-readable API description format called the Open API Specification, and there will be an entire track uh, tomorrow about this format. And with the Open API Specification, you can describe fully an API in a YAML or a JSON file, path, HTTP method, uh, request, response, uh, HTTP status code, parameters, headers, security, everything. And such format could perfectly be passed by some programs to check if the API definition respects rules defined in the API guidelines, like mandatory HTTP status code, URL patterns, correct use of types, uh, respect of naming conventions, etc., etc. Thanks to my work on the API uh, stylebook.com website, I've discovered an interesting tool uh, created by Zalando, which uh, is referenced in their API design guidelines. It's called Zali, and it's a kind of API linter. This tool comes with a server and a web UI. Using the UI, you can check the Open API file remotely using the URLs and also copy paste them in an editor. When rules are violated, a report shows them to you. And this report explains which part of the API violates which rule and gives you a direct link to the API style guide. Therefore, you have some clues to fix your API design so it will be consistent with all of our APIs following these rules. Note that the server exposes an API and there is also uh, a CLI, command, command line in interface, which rely on the server side. And so all of this tooling can perfectly be integrated into a continuous integration system or inside an API designer tool. And of course, you can modify the rules so they can match your own guidelines. This is great, but do such tool can help us to get rid of humans in the API design control process? Of course not. Such tool can be of great help, but the, the last line of defense against poor API design and consistency is still humanity. Only a human being will be able to evaluate if a design is really beautiful, user-friendly, accurate, but not having to care about basic API design rules is really cool because you can focus on what's really important. It's time to finish with story. What should we remember? So-called good API design is nothing without consistency. If three individuals endpoints within a single API are perfectly designed but are inconsistent with each other, it is a failure. If an organization exposes too much trouble, uh, too much trouble API surface, it's a failure. API design cannot be consistent without clearly defined rules. If there are no rules, be ready to face the API design far west with ruthless and lawless API designers creating totally inconsistent APIs. Defining rules is nothing if nobody is aware of them, nor accept them, nor follow them. Establishing rules, sharing them, updating them, improving them, and controlling them requires governance. And I'm not talking about dumb governance from the um, service-oriented architecture era. Think more about designer relations, training, coaching people, promoting a product, providing tools that make this control smooth and effortless. And all this is possible only if you rely on people. So it's time to build your fellowship of API designers to be sure to design consistent and beautiful APIs and provide a perfect and smooth API surface for your organization. Thank you. <laughs>